to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. The ways of God are not our ways. Believers, hear me. Because many of us are stopping something already that is almost finished. You are casting and praying and binding whereas heaven is saying, cheer up. You are almost there. You do not even know what God has in store. Is it not in your Bible that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man? Apostle is four years and I have only five members. The story it is that story that makes the anointing that would come upon your life valuable that the next time you tell people there is a grace for increase there is a here about you your story becomes an attestation that such a grace exists the challenge with and this is my message by the spirit tonight we're going to pray that the challenge many times if we have not sustained the eyes of the spirit to see things from the lens of heaven so that which should be noble that which we should stand and rejoice we cry why because we're dealing with the world of men and men cannot see things as they can only see the end of things apostle i'm praying god has called me to be a prophet every prophecy i gave was a lie you are John, no, I'm James. You have two sisters. Ah, we are many, we are 20. What sort of a prophet is this? You, and yet God told you before that experience starts, beware and respect what follows when God speaks. Whether you understand it or not, the moment God speaks, whatever follows, print it from the lens of what he said. If God says, I am giving you speed and delays, there is an actor acting something there. Believe me, I'm not just motivating you. What I'm saying is powerful. It is based on this intelligence that you people laugh through storms. And while they laugh, listen to me. When John, the beloved, stood with Jesus, and Jesus was on the tree, he looked at him and said, John, don't weep for me. You are beating me. This is only for 72 hours. And a coronation is about to happen. You need to think about yourself. Take care of your mom. Take care of this. This is what the saints saw. That even in the midst of fire they rejoice. There are people that God is equipping with intelligence. To go back and say Lord thank you for us. We are all CEOs. But my pain becomes an edge. This is why they will invite me tomorrow. They say there are platforms that they will not ask who read this far. They say, who has gone through this, this far? Whose company has lost money so much? No, you have not lost enough for you to speak to kings. Apostle, it's been five years. My wife has not put to bed. I know it's not the best, but God told us that kings will come out of us. Then write it down, there is a story. You are only watching the formation of a story that comes will not be a child you will be a nation there are children who are like nations in one child is that true now let me find somewhere to round up beware of men too much to kill the process of your becoming glorious there are times that people will look at you and say no 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 you shouldn't be this broke. I think I have to help you. And God says, stop. I am too responsible to leave them that way. There is something I am betting. 
manage your compassion so that you do not close the seasons of people that man that you are pitying is a kingdom financier but that experience is what will plant in him compassion for the lost there is a foundation coming out of that pain don't close it peter's compassion wanted to destroy salvation no you will not go to the cross and jesus says satan get thee behind me why would you say get thee behind me to compassion you will be learning that the anointing that comes upon your life does not just depend on your capacity but your scars that your scars are treasures in the spirit let no man try bear in my body don't be ashamed of your scars many of you right now your scar is not something listen what is an object of shame tomorrow will be your testimony you know jesus in heaven not just by the crown on his head who else has the sky in his hand of 10 families no one has risen don't worry god is birthing a savior out of that testimony out of that testimony admire your experience don't wish to be someone else don't rush seas. take it with honor soak the gary with honor don't 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 try to fake what can be real god is taking you somewhere please hear me you're a man of god be patient walk with god when he's done he will sign upon your life and the nations will stand in awe. they will see the dimension of god's grace and glory believe me i know what i am saying believe me I know what I am saying. If anyone tells you God does not lift, he lied. If anyone tells you God is too slow, he lied. If anyone tells you God cannot bless, he lied. But are you willing to go through the process that brings genuine glory, not borrowed glory, not a vapor type glory that is up to date a lot of balloon success that we have that does not sustain the foundation at last logic the lord sent me here to speak to you that the betting of glory goes through a process one of my ladies sent me a text I didn't even know she was due. She sent me a text from yesterday night and reminded me again that this baby has refused to come out and she's tired of waiting. I think she's been in the hospital. And I said, here's my message. Look the attention of the doctors because there is a baby coming. Never been a woman, I will never be one. But then I can tell you this. I've had the opportunity to see what happens to women moments before they give it. She can look at her husband and say, I hate you. Don't you dare come to my life again. No, forget what she's saying. Look at what she's saying. I'm carrying a destiny. And even though I'm human, I want to keep moving. Many of you right now are like mothers. There are visions, there are dreams, there are prophetic things you are about to bear. And that's why you are shouting all those prayers. That's why God does not, God, kill me after two days. And God says, I know what you are saying. You are human. I've been there before. I know that when the death of anything valuable is painful, God, I don't love you. I will not be a Christian again. And God says, I know. Your heart is just saying, show me mercy. I'm almost there. So he ignores the voice that comes from your speaking and focuses on your heart. And supplies grace. Please hear me, believers. I bring you a message from heaven. The process that gets glory is non negotiable. It's not something you can pray away, it's not something you can pray against. It is not demonic. Even if it is, the wisdom of God can walk away around it. But please hear me 
forget about glory if the cross cares you because the only door to the throne not one of the doors the only door to the throne is the cross it is the reason why when people have certain kinds of track records please listen they get to a point where the bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved even kings for their sake you know why because their track record is blood dripping on the altar they've gone through too much joseph never had the dream of a pit joseph never had a dream of potiphar's house joseph never had the dream of the prison he had the dream where he saw the sun the moon and 11 stars just like you god never showed you the dream of a landlord chasing you out god never showed you the dream of your people not working god never showed you the dream of your not being invited for a job or whatever all he showed you was a day when the nations will stand in awe and say we want your god that's what you saw when you slept that's what you saw when you woke up that is still what he's saying even when you are in the pit he will never change what he's saying let me tell you this every time you don't understand what is happening in your life is proof you're not the one running it it tells you that there is one who is lifting you so you trust his wisdom many times our unbelief will always make us to want to know the details and in working with God, the mission is follow me. He does not necessarily owe you every explanation. Just follow me. Abraham, take thy son. Let me show you how Abraham became the father of nations. It was not an impartation. Take thy son, thy only son, whom thou lovest. I believe in impartations, but let me tell you, our generation is about to get into a, a big mistake not everything can be imparted a track record cannot be imparted the value of certain graces is when they meet you at the end of your season and so god says i'm calling you into a prophetic ministry but for one year you are going to be praying like a madman god how will i eat that's the point there is something i want to teach you about my supplies and if i say go and read it you will not believe it so i have to use you to act it so that you will never forget it when i say i can supply your needs you don't just depend on what you read you also depend on your story listen there are things i've gone through in my life that have sponsored compassion even when i minister to the sick sometimes when i look at the situation of people humanly speaking we're humans you look at that situation and you're like oh interesting but then he reminds you may your life be full of archives that god can draw from there should always be something in your experience that can kill unbelief you're about to start a project and they tell you it's two billion three billion and you sit down and you almost laugh at yourself you stand in front of the mirror and say ah what you know i've never known i can be this foolish to myself then you remember There is a level of innocence that is not healthy. You should allow God pass you through seasons. Seasons. When you lift certain songs, they will now make sense. You know, it's amazing how that as God increases you in life, you go back to the songs you hate because they now make sense. On Christ the soul in work I sent all over the ground sinking sun oh, oh, on the ground is sinking I used to be in the seminary and I hated repetition I didn't know why they always say repeat stanza they said we finished it they say repeat it and you see the people singing say repeat it oh. repeat it We used to gather as a family to pray and many times when my parents are praying they will give thanks for over 10 minutes 
God, we thank you for this. You know, and I just round up. Lord, we thank you generally. I mean, he understands. There are things only growth can correct. Don't attack people too early. Pastor, why do you roll all the time? You don't need to explain. Time is a lecturer. Time has an interesting way of mentoring people in bringing to their consciousness why certain things happen the way they happen. But then in the end of all of those things, you will find out that your life becomes a reflection of God's glory. My one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised my one desire that you be praised that you be praised listen there are times that you will never have anything to say if you have not gone through certain things. When people are talking, your innocence is not invited. You will need a testimony. What has God done? What is touching enough to warrant your contribution? There are conversations that you will need to pass through certain things to be able to contribute. So when someone is saying, I know what it means to be hungry, he said, you remind me. I also know what it means to be in school without school fees. Now you can relate. And together you can say, great is thy faithfulness. And you both understand what you are saying. There are people who are completely disconnected from the reality of men. So they cannot praise God. Because everything you say, they have nothing in their lives to relate with. Praise God when he gives you an opportunity to taste of the things that limit men. So that when men are praising God, you see, the excellency of that glory that comes out from you, when they see you as an earthen vessel, no one helped you, how did you get your PhD? And you tell them it's a long story. They say, we're willing. Can we organize ourselves just to hear you? And you say, am I that valuable? Your pain made it so. That was glory in birth. And they would pay you and say, tell us mentor us how does god lift a man with no support and you say are you willing i can't speak well they say but your pain um we don't have that testimony we will make do with whatever limitation go on something you are going through today will make people ignore every other thing that is not working and focus on that which is glorious in your life believe me when i tell you this there are music artists that it is the frustration and the pain that will lead to the music ministry. One day you will stop listening to songs and you will sit down. Like Jonah, whilst you are sitting, a song will come that you did not write. You will now believe when they say songs can be received. Until now you think it's a lie. Because there is the, the pain factor that makes that reality believable is not yet in your life. Roger, God is counting on you, counting on your life, counting on your testimony to reveal to the nations that Christ can be glorified and he can be glorified through the saints. Let nothing you are going through today embarrass you. Don't rush seasons. Go through it with honor. While you cry, pass through it. While you are praying, you are done praying. And the people that you live around say, Pastor, you are done praying, but you are still hungry. And you tell them, be my witnesses now. So that when he honors me, he will be my validators also. Listen to me. There is a joy that is set before you. So you must obtain grace to despise the shame. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, the Bible says, let us lay aside every weight, every weight, and the sin that doth easily beset us, and then run with perseverance the race that is set before us. 
There it is. Looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, what did he do? Endured the pain. Endured. Have you heard this statement? He has paid his price. She has paid her price. That statement is very powerful. Very powerful. When you pay the price of anything, you are allowed to pick it. Correct? No matter what you like, if I love this, this is beautiful, glorious, very excellent. The question is that there is a price tag on it. If I have some of the money and not all, I can deposit, but may not be allowed to pick it. Until the price is paid in full. Even Jesus was not spared till he paid the price. Your destiny has a price tag. Your prayer point has a price tag. Your process is God answering that prayer. Are you willing to endure and let him continue? This is how the anointing comes. This is how grace comes. As I preach, I'm tempted to just pause and just think about my own life. You know, today many people see all the great things that God is doing respectfully and I thank God for it. But the only thing I can tell you Dear people of God, is that behind every glory, there truly is a story. And sometimes God helps us so much that it never looks like we went through fire. You see, there's a therapeutic effect that the throne has on you. It can erode everything that looks like yesterday. But make no mistakes, Joseph was once in the pit. Make no mistakes, Daniel was once a slave. Make no mistakes. Ruth was once a woman who was wondering what to do with her life. Make no mistakes. The Son of God was once on the cross. This will both enlighten you so that when you see people going through seasons that you cannot explain, you can wrap your hands around them like Simon of Cyrene. You will help them while they are on their way, breathing their glory. Do not expect me to, remind, to remember you when I'm on the throne. If you saw me carrying the cross and you didn't come to help me. The palace already has servants. It is a cross that does not have helpers. So if you want to be featured in my tomorrow, do something in my today. This is already wisdom for someone. That you say, Lord, who are you lifting now? Let me quickly help to carry that cross. It is powerful to be by people at their moments where they are trusting for lifting. Reha, hear me. God is counting on us. Please stand on your feet. We are going to pray. But God is counting on us that the glory that we have been redeemed to reveal may not come the way many of us and we say it to come. But it is that glorious. For some of you, it is your glory that is bringing the tears in your eyes now. Cry with honor. Do not hide the scars. They will be your testament of endurance. Hold hands with someone, please. For your glory, I will do. Just to see you, to behold you as my for your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my Wanna be where, where you are. Gotta Wanna be. be where you are. Hallelujah. Two prayer points, and I'm out of your face tonight. Number one, Father, let my life personify a dimension of your reality. Let my journey on earth become a message revealing to people the potentials, the power, the grace. The manifestation 
of your glory in my life should compel men to need you should compel men to serve you should compel men to love you let me personify a dimension of your glory that you seek to be revealed in the earth is someone praying Last prayer point for tonight. If you turn aside in the day of battle, the Bible says your strength is small. When the woman of God came here, she told us to pray for strength. By faith, he says, Sarah herself received strength. You are going to pray for strength. Some of you, your season is two days left. One week left one month left you cannot afford to fail you've endured five years you've endured ten years you cannot abort destiny because of lack of endurance some of you are crying but let me tell you sincerely i stand by the god of heaven that there is always victory there is always the enthronement of they who finish even to the end lift your voice and obtain strength strength to go through the mockery strength to go through the misunderstanding strength to go through the pain strength to go through the embarrassment strength to go through the current business failure things may not be working in my life as the Bible declared it should. For some of you, your season is wrapping up even at this conference. Because before it ends, like Jacob, having wrestled with God and received a new name, the Bible says, and the sun arose and he called the place Peniel. Draw strength, draw strength, draw strength, draw strength, draw strength. The anointing of the Spirit is touching this woman. Please help her. My time is up, but I'm just, I just saw what looked like oil on this woman's head. We may not have time to minister. Time is gone. We have to respect it. But listen to me, people of God, listen to me. This is how greatness is formed in this kingdom. It is first the cave of Adullam. It is first the cross. It is first the season of sowing with tears. With tears. It is not every sowing that is pleasant. That's what makes the seed precious. That the tears come out. You are sowing in the spirit now. No one may be seeing you. The music ministry is there in its formation. You cry, you write songs, you edit. You are writing the sermons. And you keep seeing visions of the nations. And yet you have not gotten out of your locality. Obtain grace to stay. Sustain the grace to stay. All the days of my appointed time. I will wait. There is a time appointed. And then when that shofar blows, there is also something called the season of appearing. It says, John remained in the wilderness until it is dangerous to open up doors that God did not open. Your will can open a door, but all you will see is pain. Till the day your pain coincides with divine timing, then you will call it breakthrough. I bring you a word from the Lord to strengthen your understanding that there is a relationship between death and glory. And 
for many of us who are going through seasons right now that people cannot explain that not even you understand please hear me it is not because you are not a christian it is because you are a christian hear me be careful do not clash why don't i have a job there is a making father grant us strength even by the spirit we have come to draw we have come to drink and you have opened our understanding tonight to see the excellency of the uncomfortable process that leads to glory lord we decree and declare that we desire glorify thy son grant us capacity to go through all of the seasons that we would need to pass through grant us grace birth in us O god the kind of glory that would confound principalities and powers let scripture not only be fulfilled in our lives may we become living epistles we decree and declare that we will give you the glory and we will cause the nations to see you to desire you to need you to love you in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the vision to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline